Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We live. We back, man. Welcome, welcome back to the Golden Goose DFS channel. I am your humble host, Channel Blakely, aka Goose. Here today, you know what it is. Bringing you my starting five for DraftKings and FanDuel. So if you're new to the channel, man, hit the subscribe button, man. Thank y'all so much for the likes. Keep them coming, man. If you like what you see, it's simple. Just hit the like button. It take like two seconds. Probably not even that, man. Hit that like button for your boy, man. It's greatly appreciated. And I thank all y'all for tuning in. Now, let's get to this slate, man. Well, the review, my bad. Last night was a wild slate. Very real slate. I, I tweeted out. I said, uh, I, I, apparently it's the backup center night, man. I don't know how you got to that. It was one of those nights where you had to be around to take advantage of late swap just because of how the games were staggered. So when I tweeted out the starting five, I said, pay attention for late changes and this and that. If you couldn't be around for late swap last night, you probably shouldn't have played because it was just one of them slates. The game was how they were staggered. Like I said, you didn't get all the news by the time the first couple of games locked. So you had to be kind of be, be able to be, uh, you know, adjustable, be able to move a little bit. So that's what we try to do with the uh, starting five. So. It changed. We just get into the lineup, man. Uh, Twelve dollars second entry. You already know. That being said, we was in the perfect position. We 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 finished what eight points out of the money over here in this twelve dollars single entry. And let first of all, let me start right here. You mean to tell me the Sacramento Kings scored a hundred and fifty three points, and neither Fox or Sabonis had a good game? Come on, man. You can play this game 100 times. That probably wouldn't happen but two more times, man. That is crazy. That is ridiculous. Shout out. To, and the winning lineup, I think, had Terrence Davis in. Shout out. I don't know how you played Terrence Davis in a single entry, but hey, shout out, man. I, Jesus. Terrence Davis? That boy. Boy, boy, boy. I used to play him a little bit when he was with the Raptors coming off their bench, but yeah, he had one. He, he can shoot. He can light it up when he get hot, but. Yeah, man, if you played him, congrats, man. But, uh, yeah, Fox and Sabonis, as you can see, trying to take advantage of that late game against Brooklyn. You guys, you, you want to, the next day, you always want to look back at your lineups and go over your plays and see where, where were you right, were you wrong, did you just get lucky, was it a good play, why was it a good play, if it was bad, why was it bad, man. So you just want to do that with all your plays. And Fox and Sabonis right here, I think we just got unlucky, man. Like I said, Terrence Davis just got hot. They kept feeding him. Like I said, you can run, you can play this game a hundred times, and probably that that don't happen but twice that Fox also Bones don't have a hand in 153 points. So we just got unlucky there, man. Blowout, shorten they run, no closing run, none of that. So like I said, just got unlucky with them picks. CJ McCollum, I thought he would be a little more chalkier than this with no Zion, but I definitely take that 26 percent on. Uh, I went Fox and McCollum here. <coughs> To try to get away from some of that Morant chalk. We knew what the kind of we knew what some of the value pieces was gonna be at. We knew Morant was gonna be one of those chalky, uh one of the chalky pay up options. So I felt like McCullum and Fox could score in his ballpark. And that's what you wanna do to me when you fade. You want somebody that can score in his ballpark. So like take McCullum or Fox. I said if if Morant doesn't go crazy, 65, 70 fantasy points, as long as he don't do that, if he just gets sixty two and you get McCullum to drop you 55 or Fox to get you 56, you win that battle because you're paying like $2,000 less. So you're saving salary that you can pay up at another position. So that's what we try to do here. Like I said, it was the right combination. We got great ownership on it. Just didn't work out how we wanted to. Uh, Trey Murphy, of course, he was chalk. Once we seen he was in the starting lineup. He's a kid that can shoot. He actually didn't get the closing run. Uh, Dyson Daniels was playing well over there. It was like the backup night. I'm telling you, man. If you took backups... The guy, the second unit off the bench, you had a good night, man. Uh, SoCon here just got stuck, man. After the uh, got got the news that Hardenstein was in um, was in the starting lineup, foul trouble. The other story of our night, foul trouble. Hardenstein, he had three fouls in five minutes. Never really got going as it was Jericho Sims who had the big night. We know we wanted centers against this Jazz team. Bigs team to tend to dominate down there. So when we got the news, Hardenstein was starting. We wanted to go there. Got him at lower ownership because like, it was a late swap opportunity. Just We just got unlucky here. This is a spot we just got unlucky. You know what I mean? It really can be like an N.A., you know, undecided because we don't know if we was right or wrong because he got foul trouble. He didn't really – he didn't really get the run he was supposed to, all right? But he still savaged the night a little bit with 19. He, I thought he was going to really do it for us. Uh, Self-Curry, 23% on. This is a play we was wrong on. I was heavy on Self-Curry. 
this one we was just wrong on. Uh, I thought he would. He got 24 minutes last night. I thought he would see closer to 30. So he didn't get the minutes, and the fact that it's being a blowout probably attributed why he didn't get the minutes, and he just didn't get it done for us. 17 points though, but didn't destroy. Like I said, we was eight points from the cash line, but 233 over here on DraftKings. All right, let's go see how we did on FanDuel, man. FanDuel got crushed once again. Self Curry at the top. Uh, put up 250 over here. Self Curry, like I said, we're just wrong on him. Got I got to some job over here. Uh, you know, I told you all the time. If you're new to the channel, you don't know. I like to play the sites against each other, play my strategies against each other. So, you know what I mean? That's why a lot of times you'll see me win on one and, and lose on the other because I'm playing them against each other. This is how I think you should do, especially if you're only doing a couple of lineups, man. All right? But that's just my opinion on it. All right? Um, Brandon Ingram, 47%. He laid a dud. I don't know what was going on with him last night. John Conchar, everybody's chalk play in the starting lineup. He gave you 24. He was solid. That's why I played him on uh, – he gave you a better return over here on FanDuel. At, okay, that's why I didn't play him on DraftKings because I didn't want to pay that 4900 for him. So, uh, went back to the Cam Reddish well right here. So, uh, this was the highest total game on the slate. Cam Reddish just had a nice game. <clears throat> I know – it, it's not really point chase because he's still too cheap. He's still 4,400 for a guy that's going to be playing 30 minutes in the highest total game. And I know he's going to get some shots up. So I went to Cam Red, try to get a little different here, 5% on. He gave us an okay uh, output, uh, okay score right here on FanDuel, 26 points. Didn't didn't put us over the top, but didn't kill us either. Very solid. Uh, well, that's 5X over there. Look, by 6X over That's 6X. So we'll take that from Cam Reddish. Uh, Marcus Morris. He, he he got he got it done for him. Got off to a slow start here. They got down early, but a nice comeback right here. Marcus Marcus Morris did solid for us at fifty five hundred on FanDuel. Demarcus Bonus already went through that. Julius Randle, I don't I it, yeah wrong. And then J Val. This is another case of foul trouble, but not his foul trouble. Stephen Adams getting in foul trouble. Took him off the floor because he couldn't run a clock was running circles around him. So I was I was counting on J Val getting a, a, as many minutes or as close to many minutes as Stephen Adams would, would get. You know what I mean? It was a nice matchup. He can run with Stephen Adams and stay in there. But Stephen Adams getting in foul trouble, not getting the minutes, led to Joe Val having to come off the court because Clark was running circles around him. Hence, you got Nance. So if you had Clark and Nance together, hey, you probably made some money. I couldn't get to it, but hey, congrats if you did it. I don't know how you take two backups in a single entry, but you know. Let's get to it, though. Uh, DraftKings today, FanDuel today. Be ready. I already got some monster news. It's going to be more to come. It's another crazy one, man. Just get your idea. Just go on and start making your plans now, guys. This is what you want to do so you're not all over the place. You want to kind of lock in on your core guys, the guys you know you want to play. No, uh, unless news affects them, like if you get your pay up option, like if you want to pay up to Giannis, and now you want to pay up to Luca, I say okay. I'm, I know I'm playing this guy, and I know I'm playing another guy, whatever, maybe two guys, three guys, or whatever. And then you just go through and look at all the in injury situations. If this guy plays, I'm doing this. If he doesn't, I'm doing this. And you just want to make those notes, however you want to do it. Write it down, phone, whatever. And then that way when the news hits, you already got in your head what you want to do. So you're not scrambling, oh, what does this mean? Ah, shit, don't do this. So you already, you want to do it like that so you can make those decisions as fast as you need to. Because you know the news going to come out drop like that. You're going to be locked in, got to change something then. So go on and have those steps ready so you know how to adjust accordingly. But let's get into this slate, man. At the top, like I said, big news already. No yoke today. Just give me Jamal Murray, 6,500. Listen, he's probably going to be chalky. I don't care. Yeah, that is good chalk. I would take some Jamal Murray in this spot. 6,500. He's He's been getting his legs back, and now you get him in a spot against the New York Knicks without Jokic, man. It is so much usage that's going to go around. I like a lot of those Denver guys, as you're going to see when we get down the list. I'm okay with pretty much any of them out there with no joke out there. Then, especially if Aaron Gordon sits. Oh, my goodness. But... I like Jamal Murray. He's going to pretty much be a lock for me today. That's what I say, unless he's sitting out or something. Only way I don't play him is if, he, is if he don't play. At the shooting guard, I think we can go back to C.J. McCollum. Now, this is depending on Zion news. Now, if Zion is out, I'm going right back to C.J. McCollum. 8,200, coming off a nice, nice shooting. They're going to need him to be aggressive still. 
Uh, especially Brandon, Brandon Ingram. He looked like he got a little banged up last night. I don't know what they're going to do with him, but it doesn't matter. C.J. McCollum still should have a solid game at this 8200 price tag if Zion is out. Zion plays, we're going to have to go somewhere else, all right? Small forward. We have Tyrese Halliburton questionable. If he misses, give me Buddy Hill. Just give me Buddy Hill. They, you can play around with them other guards out there. Uh, it's going to be Nimhard, Naismith, Mathurin. Yeah, you don't know who it can be. I know who's going to play, and I know who's going to soak up some of them shots. And usually Buddy Hill going to let that thing ride. I'm telling you right now. In this matchup against the Charlotte Hornets, one of the highest total games on the slate. One, definitely the, probably the fastest pace game on the slate. Give me some Buddy Hill at 6800 if Tyrese Halliburton sits. If Halliburton plays, you probably still can play here, but I just won't. He just I won't be on as keen on him as I am now if, if Halliburton plays. But give me Buddy Hill if Halliburton's out at 6800 Power forward, man, staying in that Denver game. Give me Jeff Green. Like I said, we know Jokic out, so he should get some minutes there. If Aaron Gordon misses, I don't see no way he don't play 30 minutes. I don't know how Jeff Green don't play 30 minutes outside of foul trouble if Aaron Gordon sits. So, I like Jeff Green. He's in play, like I said, right now because Jokic is out. So, I don't know what they're going to do at the center. But he he's already getting a 15, 18 minutes. He should see 24 right now normally. If Aaron Gordon is out, he should get to 30. So I like getting the Jeff Green 3,500 in this matchup against the Knicks, all right? They're going to need bodies down there. You know the Knicks got random. They got some big boys down there, so they're going to – ain't no going small on them, all right? <clears throat> and at the center, just give me DeAndre Aiden, 6,100. I like this game here. I, I'm going to get plenty of pieces of this Golden State Phoenix game, man. Hopefully Chris Paul is back. I like Aiden either way, but Chris Paul being back, definitely, definitely I'm going to love him because a, a, uh, Chris Paul bring, being back gives Aiden some uh, easier offensive looks off the pick and roll and things of that nature. So I like Aiden right now. Borderline love him, especially at 6,100. <clears throat> he should crush Golden State inside. No bigs down there to worry about. I'm expecting a nice double-double from Aiden right here. And hopefully picks up a couple of blocks here and there. So, like getting DeAndre Aiden here at 6,100. All right? There you have it, man. My starting five on DraftKings. Jamal Murray, CJ McCollum, Buddy Hill, Jeff Green, and DeAndre Aiden. Let's go look at FanDuel and see what I'm playing over there. All right? Hit that like button if you haven't already. <clears throat> Pardon me. At the top, man, nothing changes. Give me Jamal Murray, 6,400. I'm not even going to break it down again. I just told you, man, Jamal Murray must play for me. At the shooting guard, I'm going to get some Clay Thompson at 5,500. Like I told you, man, I want some of this Golden State Phoenix game. Now, this is a this is a gut instinct play right here, man. This is I don't care what the numbers say on this one, man. They still should be solid anyway. But Clay should be good to go. Last time he played this Phoenix Sun team, he got ejected getting into it with Booker. He, it's personal for him. He wants to show he's back. He's been finding his legs as of late, playing more minutes. He should see big minutes in this contest. And Clay is one of the he he's one of the best shooters in NBA history, people. He's gonna find that shot. I'm telling you right now. And you know when he does, Golden State is going to feed him. I think we, I think we're a couple weeks. Uh, I think we on the borderline of a big Clay Thompson game coming soon. I'm trying to be the first one to the party. I love the matchup. Like I said, the numbers should be solid on him, but it's more of a gut play for me. I'm playing some Clay Thompson at 5500 on FanDuel. All right. At the small forward, stand with Jeff Green, 3500. Like I said, I expect him to get 20 to 25 minutes right now as is. 20 to 25 minutes right now as is. If Aaron Gordon is out, I think he gets to 30. So, let me see Jeff Green, 3,500. Like I said, you don't want to go Jeff Green. There's plenty of other <laughs> Denver Nuggets over there for you to go to. I like a lot of them, man. I like some Michael Porter Jr. I'm telling you, I like some Bruce Brown, whatever. It's a lot of uses to go around with no Jokic, all right? Everybody's going to be there. It's going to be chalky. Get the one or two pieces you, you feel look most comfortable with, and that's what I'm doing right here, man. All right? At the power four, I think we can go back to Kevin Love over here on FanDuel. I like this price on the 4900 We know Jared Allen is already out. So, uh, Kevin Love should be in for increased minutes. If Donovan Mitchell misses again, too, I'm going to love Kevin Love. All right? <laughs> if, Donovan Mitchell's again, if Donovan Mitchell misses again, they say he practiced. He's, he's questionable right now. They say he practiced yesterday, so I think he plays. But we still got to wait and see. If he's out, I'm definitely getting some Kevin Love. And you can go back to Darius Garland, too. 
straight up go right back to Derek Garland as well. But give me Kevin Love for sure at forty nine hundred. And center, man, I, I'm I'm gonna I'm play the game. I'm gonna roll the dice. If Miles Turner could stay out of foul trouble, he should crush y'all. But you know what it is with him. You gotta worry about the fouls. But it's such a great matchup, man. Like I said, the fastest paced game on the slate. I'm I'm gonna play the game and, and go Miles Turner, man. Seventy one hundred. Like I said, as long as he gets the minutes, he should absolutely be crushing this matchup right here, man. I'm expecting a nice double double, definitely a couple blocks from him. All right. There you have it, man. You're starting five for fan duel. Miles Turner, Kevin Love, Jeff Green, Clay Thompson, and Jamal Murray. Get you some exposure to these guys. Give me your player pools. You know they're gonna be in mine. Go follow over there on Twitter, man, for updates For updates to the starting five, man. Hit that like button. Leave a comment. Let me know where y'all from and how you liking the show, man. Anything y'all want to see done, something different, just let me know, all right? Y'all know the motto. Chances make champions, man. Y'all green up. I'm going to catch y'all next time, all right? Let's get it.